Good morning, good morning, and thank you for being with here, being with us here another day um, to the Cheryl and Lee Health Show. I want to thank you very much. We have a wonderful guest today, and um, I have uh, someone sitting in for my wonderful co-host, Belinda Foster, and so Anzella Victoria is uh, sitting in for Belinda Foster today. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Cheryl and Lee Health Show with your co-host, Dr. Cheryl and Lee. Today, we have the incredible Anita Vasquez Thibault. This woman is a savvy and seasoned spokesperson and entrepreneur who is well-recognized in the international health and activism arena, evolving from her 20-plus years of experience in the area of finance, of various business and real estate ventures, she has parlayed her understanding of law and passion for equity into a career as a spokesperson, panelist, advisor, policy activist, and health wellness conference coordinator. Anita has demonstrated her commitment and tenacity throughout her professional livelihood having led the introduction of legislation in the United States and heightening awareness globally on health and wellness issues. This woman is a trilingual global traveler, and Anita has the innate ability to effectively communicate with all socioeconomic diverse backgrounds with ease and grace. And I want to say... You know what? Her bio is so long, we're going to have to put a lot of it on the Internet, Anita. Wouldn't you agree? (laughs) You know, know, I'm I'm a pretty busy girl, so uh, I can't keep up with my own things nowadays. My goodness. And so we will get into a little bit more of that. I don't mean to cut you off, um, Anzella, but um, our topic today is, are you aware of the neurotoxins that are in your teeth? I meant... This is so appalling to me to the point because every day I have so many sick people walk in my office and the first place I start is with the mouth, with the dental. And they're not aware. These neurotoxins are causing havoc in our body. And, you know, we just started the show, but we have someone um, from area code 310 with a four. Um, we have a caller on the line. So, caller, you want to state your name and where you're calling from? You have a question already, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. I've just been so confused about this whole issue. Um, I'm Sally, and I'm in, calling from Union City in New Jersey. And I wanted to find out about, I mean, first of all, about the materials they put in your mouth because I've gone to different dentists, and they all tell me different things, and I don't know the right material to use. And how do you even know what is the right material for you to use? You know, that's a great question. And actually, that was one of my questions. So thank you very much. Yeah, because <laughs> if you don't have mercury, what else? I don't really know because everyone tells you some people say use this, some people say use that. And I don't even know where to go or what well, to do An- now. Anita's going to share that with you because there are tests that you can do to find out your compa- your comp- if you're compatible with the material that they're going to put in your mouth. But, Anita, I'm going to let you take it from there. Oh, thank you, Carla. Uh, uh, Sally, right? Thank you. Um, well, unfortunately, it's one of those tests that are not readily available, although there is a company um, in Colorado. It's called Biocomp Laboratories, and they can do a, analysis of all of the dental materials that um, they have about a 1,000 materials that they check for, in order to see what is right for the individual, because here's the thing. Oftentimes, people that have their dental work done, you know, they they may take out the mercury and they put something in their mouth, which is, you know, not compatible with them, and the people are wondering why they still aren't getting better. Um, It's critical that if you do your teeth properly and you find the right biological dentist, that you go that extra mile and do a biocompatibility test. And um, fortunately, this company... um, it's Biocomp Laboratories, and you can Google that, BiocompLaboratories.com. They do offer um, a free kit that they will send to your home, and you'll just have to go to uh, a blood lab and draw the blood and then send it back, and they can analyze that for your next dental appointment. Okay, you know what? My pen wasn't working. Could you please tell me the name one more time? 
It's I want to write this down. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, uh, it's bio, bio, bio comp uh-huh. lab biocomplaboratories.com, and it's all one word. All one word, all lowercase? Yes. Okay, so when I go to their website, and then I, what do I do once I get to the website? You can there order a, a li- kit. Okay. And order they, the will kit. Send you, they will send you the kit, and then from there, um, you just follow what's inside the packaging, and you take it to the lab, and the lab will handle it once they take your blood and they will send it back to Biocomp, and then they will print out your um, assessment report and send it back to you. Now, wasn't okay. that a wonderful information? Yes. Thank you. And can I go to any lab? Can I go to, like, the lab at my local hospital? Any blood lab, yes. Blood lab, okay. To have, to have them draw the blood. Correct. Oh, have them draw the blood, and then you mail it in? Or yes. Correct. They'll, okay, they'll thank you. you complete, they'll send you a complete package. This is Dr. Lee. They'll send you a package. At our clinic, we do things like that here for our patients. So, so we'll, I'll go ahead and you know, draw the blood, and we get everything sent in from this location. But if you're working with a doctor who is doing that, that's great. But if not, you can do what Anita just suggested and go ahead and get it, you know, order it. But you have to go to a lab so they could just draw your blood and give you your tubes so it could be mailed in. Okay, thank you so much. And then you, because I think, I think everyone should know. This is so important. And thank you so much, Sally, for this question. Because everyone should know. We go to dentists all the time. If you're compatible, we have so many people with so many illnesses and not aware is stemming from their teeth. And it could be the composite itself. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you so much. This is a wonderful question. It was one of my questions, like I said. I'm so glad you, you started us up, out with this at the top of the hour. Thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you thank so much for this information. You're more than welcome. Thank you. And thank you for calling. Let me just pop in and say to our listeners that if you also have a question, you can either call at 310 Seven seven three three. I'll say that again. Three one zero nine two eight seven seven three three. Or you can email your question to Inner Light Radio. I N N E R L I G H T Radio at yahoo dot com, and we'll get them on the air as best we can. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Ansella. And thank you, caller. So, okay, so we're going to kind of move right along. Um, now, I just want to ask, because I, I did not have a chance yet to ask you, Anita, what prompts you to really get into this? Because you have a deep passion, and just like I do in healthcare, but there's a reason, you know, because of my own health journey. So why don't you share a little bit about your journey and what happened with you when it came to dental, if you don't mind. Not a, not a problem, Dr. Lee, and I, I so appreciate this wonderful opportunity to have this type of a platform in order to um, continue to spread this information as far and wide as possible. Um, in 2000, I was diagnosed with mercury toxicity, and very fortunate for me, I, um, I took matters into my own hands as soon as I found out that the, the root cause of it was coming, the mercury toxicity was coming from my teeth. However, uh, when I've been lecturing, I tell people I did everything wrong in order to explain how important it is to do it right which means basically that I had 13 large amalgam fillings removed improperly without any protection at all. Okay, I want you to repeat that again. You had 13 removed at one time. Yes, and and the the curious thing was um, a, a colleague of mine was discussing this with me, and when I was in my early 20s, I had one filling, and then I went to a dentist, and he put in, 12 more fillings at once. Within six months, I developed chronic adult asthma. I never made the relationship between the asthma and the fillings that were all put in at once. 
and my my colleague, uh, Dr. Blanche Gruby, who's also she's a biological uh, holistic dentist. She said, "Oh, Anita, you were acutely poisoned. That's why your symptoms showed up so quickly." And it had never dawned on me since. Uh, and I know about acute exposure. I mean, for example, if somebody works in a thermometer factory or but, well, they, they ban thermometers, for example, but if you work in an area where um, you're, you're using mercury, that could easily cause acute exposure. But in my case, it came from my dental fillings. Yes. And, and what was worse was that I, I never had a cavity. The, the dentist told me, you do not have cavities, you have pits, which are like microscopic dots on your teeth. And he said, but one day they'll become a cavity if you don't treat your teeth and so on. And I valued my teeth so much, I just said, okay, okay. And um, it's been, you know, it was a, a terrible thing because within six months, I, again, I, I developed my first case of chronic adult asthma. So I was on a journey for a, a few decades trying to figure out why was I sick and my health declining at such a rapid rate when I was a dance major in college. I mean, I was as strong as they can be, and um, I saw myself falling apart at such a young age, and until 2000, I, I finally discovered that it was from my teeth. And oh, then I my. took them all out wrong, <laughs> which caused another dose of acute exposure. And um, I, I'm just grateful that I'm here to tell people, don't do what I did, you know, yeah. because I, I learned. Uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, and after you, you, you say this, what you were about to say, we're going to talk about the correct way that we see, you know, because I'm not a dentist, and how uh, how they should be removed to ever prevent this from happening to someone else, especially children Absolutely. too. Oh, it's it's even worse for children because um, I've seen it. Brain fog yeah. developed until the age of 25, and what we've seen in the dental um, sector, especially in this country, is that. You know, they, they, we've always came up with this uh, phrase called drill, fill, and bill. And people that are on the lower uh, slow, socioeconomic scale. Anita, I just need you to slow down a little bit because what you're okay. saying is so powerful. Okay, so say that one more time, a little slower. Okay, we call it drill, fill, and bill. And what that is, it's like a dental mill where the people go in, with mouths that don't need any work, maybe a, a dental cleaning, and they walk out with um, procedures that have been performed to make money rather than just do what's right by the patient. In other words, we're paying to be poisoned. It's a very, very, very serious, serious problem. And children are really the most vulnerable in this process and it's criminal in my opinion um i you know i've had someone who is an attorney make make that exact statement that he felt that it was criminal to to put this in children's mouth but he you know we also know that a lot of times we go to doctors and especially i think a lot of young mothers and they don't read you know all the fine print before they even sign off and it's all on there, but no. And we we go to a dentist and we'll say, okay, let me go ahead and sign so I can get this work done. But you must read everything, you know. And sometimes maybe you might want to say, I want to take this and let someone else view it, you know. If you don't even understand all the language before you sign anything, and I know Anzella, um, who have worked in that field too, as far as paperwork or. Uh, paralegal, she can tell you a lot of times people don't really read the fine print. That's true. I mean, on so many things in buying homes, that's why so many people got caught up in the big homing, home financing scandal. You know, things that people never read, but what's amazing to me is I also know that a lot of times people don't even know to ask for the information that so that they can. I mean, nowadays we, we have the internet, but a lot of people don't know to ask for the pros and the cons, uh, what kind of toxins, what it, you know, what can come of it. But they are required, are they not, to give you paperwork to let you know about the results? Well, if, if um, Dr. Lee and I were discussing, uh, the, the, the great um, retired Congresswoman Diane Watson, when she was a senator in 1991, she had a law passed in the state of California, a disclosure law, 
that mandate a dentist to inform, give informed consent to the dental patient. However, that law was never enforced until 2002. Um, actually, I believe it was a little bit later than that. But when we finally, uh, working with uh, Congresswoman Diane Watson, we would be we were able to have the California Dental Board um, agree to mandate this in their policy. And what they did was they had a caveat that said dental offices that had 10 or more employees must give out informed consent and under Proposition uh, 65, which was the toxicity uh, prop. And unfortunately, a lot of dental offices do not have 10 or more employees. So there's a, a real misinformation and disconnect between the patient and what the dental offices are, are doing. Um, in my opinion, uh, these dentists are not adequately treating their patients properly, and the continued use of dental mercury in the dental profession in 2013 is beyond criminal because everybody knows that mercury is a neurotoxin. Everyone knows that. You learned that in seventh grade science. And the problem is, if it's not a law, people will continue to use it. And this is, this is where we're at with this. I, I've been running around the world trying to get a global ban on dental mercury because it is where your health starts. It's in your mouth. Most and um, you know, unfortunately, what, yes. I, what, yeah. What's amazing to me is we're talking about dental mercury. People stay away from seafood because they're trying to avoid mercury. Why is it we're packing it in our teeth? Oh, that's the million-dollar question, or maybe more than a billion-dollar question. <laughs> and when it's you really a think about it. Okay, and then my other question, because you, you mentioned Diane Watson, who's a Democrat here in California. What yes. does, Are there other states that have this type of legislation? Uh, Pennsylvania, they're working on it right as we speak um, to have a massive informed consent. It's a colleague of mine, uh, Freya Koss, who's been involved in this issue for, you know, more than a decade, too. And, you know, it's spotty, but until the uniformity of the entire country pulls together and says, listen, we're not going to allow this material to be used in our children, our parents, our spouses, and our loved ones, they will continue to use it. And this is a huge, huge problem because... As I said earlier, people on the lower socioeconomic scale um, and people on Medicaid, the, the people that are most vulnerable in our society will never, ever be able to have mercury removed safely from their teeth once it's implanted. And that, to me, is more of a social justice issue, and, and it should not be tolerated any longer. No one in this day and age can say that this is a safe product. The FDA has never classified it. I have attended all of their hearings, and I'm telling you, um, President Obama had mandated uh, specifically uh, to stop using mercury in any application that's possible. And it was across the board, and we're still dealing with this through the agencies that are not protecting who they are supposed to be protecting, which yeah. is the consumer. Yeah, and how, so how did we as a consumer, how could we help? I mean, after our president of the United States have said what he have said, and I think um, it was quoted, a statement was stated that he doesn't even want his own children to have mercury filling. So how, do, as a consumer, how do we, um, how could we help this whole process for awareness. I know I do this with the radio show. This is why I do a radio show here at Interlight Radio because I want to get the message out. We even sent out a wonderful banner and I have uh, Belinda Foster who does the PR for the show to try to get people on so that we can get this information out here because people are losing their lives and, and the cancers that I'm seeing are right on the same meridian as the teeth. And this is every day. And you know, we have another caller. Caller, can you I, state your name I, and where you're calling from? Hi, my name is Kayla, yes. and I'm calling from the Antelope Valley. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. Hi. I didn't get your name. Um, Kayla. Kayla, thank you so much for calling, Kayla. 
Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, I enjoy listening to your show. It's very informative. Um, I have a statement followed by a question. Um, the last caller made an excellent statement. We are highly concerned about the mercury levels in fish, but there's also mercury in vaccinations and other liquid products. Um, why is it that if it's such a toxic component or such a toxic element, why is it vastly in our environment? Anita? Well, I can tell you, <laughs> um, you you would be so surprised to find, you know, the, the amount of products where mercury exists. It's a, in products and processes. I um, There was a... Uh, a, mer a global mercury treaty that was just concluded this January it took three years to implement, to to create the treaty and formalize it. And there's mercury in in face creams. Um, it it was in eye drops. Obviously, we know about mercury in thermometers, which are are banned in this country. Um, mercury in methylate and mercurochrome. You mentioned vaccines, and it's all about. Is this eye drops, drops, yes. eye drops over the counter? Yep. Without mentioning any names, eye drops over the counter. Correct, correct. It is okay. found in many, many. Uh, it's in the coal fire plants. Um, it's in mining. Uh, it's it's in all of these different uh, products and processes. However, in my opinion, well, the vaccine issue is obviously huge. Yeah. And it did not make it into the treaty. But dental mercury made it onto the treaty simply because there is three to four hundred tons sent around the world globally each year for the dental industry. That is a, a lot of mercury, and it is in the top five products that dental mercury is used around the world. Um, That's sad. I think there needs to be a greater movement because I know when I went to the dentist, uh, when I was in my 20s, I heard the conflict surrounding mercury, but I wasn't certain. And the, the dentist assured me that it's safe. It's safe. There's been no proven evidence that mercury is harmful to the human body. And it's one of the binding elements that's needed to preserve a tooth. He said that um, was one that of the is... only... I, I love your question because... Um... There is a video that you can see on YouTube. It's from uh, a colleague of ours, Dr. David Kennedy. It's had more than a million hits, and it's called the Smoking Tooth Video. If you just go, go to YouTube and Google Smoking Tooth Video, and you will see that, in fact, mercury escapes from these fillings when you brush your teeth, when you drink a hot liquid, as you're just talking. Mercury is being released 24-7. The more mercury fillings, the higher your exposure. It is just basic science. Um, why did they say it's safe? You know, we have a, a very litigious country. In other words, if there is a problem, people are afraid of lawsuits. However, they have covered this issue up, and they've been able to be so deceitful and lie to people about the safety of mercury for all of these 170 years that they've been using this, that it's, it's unconscionable. I, I can't understand it. Even though there are countries in Europe, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark have banned it. There are countries that are, have very limited use of this product, um, and, the, and the movement is definitely away from dental mercury. And shame on us and shame more shame falls to the dental profession because they continue to use this as a cover-up to protect the dentist that still use this antiquated product. It's no longer necessary. It should have been banned a long time ago. It should have never been implemented in the first place simply because the dental surgeons, before dental mercury became um, a commonly used product, there were two factions of dentistry. There were the dental surgeons, who were also doctors, and there were the dental craftsmen, who were perhaps barbers or carpenters, when the, this material came to the United States. The dental surgeons, um, they signed an oath of ethics to never use this product because they knew 
in the mid-1800s that it was a bad idea. However, the dental craftsmen discovered it's easy, it was easy to use and they could make a lot of money by restoring teeth in this manner. And that was the foundation of the American Dental Association, folks. My. So you, go, you, you can see how far back this goes. My very last Dr. question Lee? is, what is, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Please go ahead. This is Sally again. I really, when you're done, I want to ask one more question if it's okay. So please go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just got scared. Please go ahead. Okay, please go, go okay. ahead. Uh, My final take... question is, what is the ideal way of either processing, dealing with, or taking care of a cavity, if not with surgery? Okay. First, you need to go to a biological or holistic dentist. Yes. And um, the, the organization of the nonprofit that I, I've been working with for since I got into this uh, mission of mine is www.iaomt.org. It stands for the International Academy of Oral Medicine and toxicology. They have a list of dentists that practice the safe usage of dental materials. They also practice the safe removal. And believe me, when you decide to do your dental work, it is an investment in your health bank account as long as you live. And people say, well, I can't afford to do my teeth. Based on what I've seen in the past you know, decade plus, it is the only place to spend your money because as addressing the bad dentistry that most of us have suffered from will change your health status if it is done properly. So whatever it takes to get to that point, it's a place to spend your money because it will help to preserve what health you have and stop the toxicity from entering your body. Yeah, so it is a really big deal. It certainly is. And I, um, Kayla, you've asked some wonderful, wonderful questions here. And um, and can you give out that website one more time, please, Anita? Yes. It's www.iaomt.org, the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. And, you know, more dentists really, I think they should, you know, take the course and, and learn how, because we need more people. You know, I have to send people out pretty far out to go see a uh, biological dentist that's also part of this organization. Um, they're all part of this organization. But the thing is, it, they're pretty far out. I wish more dentists will become more savvy to take this course and find out better ways to help. Uh, to, to help preserve our, our, our people and their lives. Well, well it's, it's true, Dr. Lee. It's really true. And um, another, there is a book that was written by the legendary Dr. Hal Huggins. Oh, and yes. it's called, and, and I believe you've had him on the show, Dr. Lee, yes? Oh, yes, he's been on the show. He, he's been on the show, and I've been on the show. He is a fearless warrior, and he yes. has been persecuted since the day he stepped out on Dental Mercury, uh, the book that he wrote, it's called It's All in Your Head. And what he has done is he has been mentoring uh, a mutual colleague of ours, Dr. Blanche Ruby, who is currently training dentists around the country. And his Dr. Huggins' safe removal of mercury and dental restoration protocols and I'm telling you, I've, I've witnessed her uh, lectures and her ability to train other dental professionals, and it, it's an astounding thing. And you're absolutely right, Dr. Lee. There are a handful of dentists that are really following the, the highest level of mercury-safe biological holistic dentistry in this country. It's, it's, it's tragic, but we're trying you know, we continue to push the envelope and try to educate people that are, are moving away from mercury so that they themselves are not poisoned because dental 
professionals, whether they be holistic dentists, um, cosmetic dentists, or dentists that use mercury every single day, they are so exposed to mercury, no matter how yeah. much they protect themselves. They are sick yeah. and they are exposing themselves. Yes. And, and Dr. This- Lee, can I ask another question whenever you guys have a moment, if that's okay? Yeah, Kayla, don't leave us yet. Uh, yes, you can ask. No, this is Sally. Uh, oh, Sally. The- I wanted to ask one more question, if it's okay. Oh, Sally, whenever- you can. Yes. I sorry, I'm just having a panic attack. I got so scared because I put amalgam fillings in my daughter two years ago. She was six when I put them in, and now she's eight. And the dentist that I went to is my best friend's father who raised me. This was like my uncle. This was like, and he assured me that it was safe. Now my daughter's had it in for two years, and I want to know, I mean, at what age can I get her feelings out now and why would he have done this to me so now I'm really freaking out and also I wanted to get the you mentioned a Blanche Groovy if I could please get the spelling if you could please tell me where she's located because I mean I, I mean I don't want to do any oh, sorry no, no, no. Um, I, I, can, I can feel what you're going through, and we're going to get you geared in, in, in the direction. So at least you can get the information for your daughter okay. while she's young. While she's young. I know. This, I know. I'm like, I don't know what to do now because he put no, those I, in I, her. First of, all, first of all, Sally, I just want you to take a deep breath, okay? Okay. Thank you. Take a deep we breath. We should all do the same because I, it's I'm so emotional. sorry. I'm so sorry. It is. It really is. And the one thing I don't want you to do is this to be to leave this show and still feel fear. Please let's let's okay. let's, let's eliminate the fear right now. Cuz you know okay. I'm a believer, I believe in God, but I'm telling you right now, there's a greater force that's going to protect you. There's a reason for this show today. I didn't even get a hold to Anita until yesterday. Can you imagine <laughs> if she's true. here today for the show? You know, this is it's, it's divinely put together here, and it's for a reason. Do not operate from fear, okay? Your daughter okay. is going to be okay. okay. Because your, your friend, he didn't know. We can't blame anybody when they don't know. I mean, they do know in a way, but I, I sincerely, I know he would not have done wanted to do any harm to you or your daughter. So what we need to do now, since she's still doing fine, is to get her to the proper source. So Anita is going to give you that information for the dentist um, that you can check. You definitely check with her work. And she told me some things about her. I'm just finding out myself that she sounds phenomenal, which she does, the massaging and the whole preparation and some things I didn't know as far as having a root canal you know, cavitation cleanse that you shouldn't even get in a car and drive anywhere. I, you know, I kind of never heard that. So there's a lot of things that are happening, happening in healthcare as we relate to the mouth. That's where a lot of it starts. But I want you to take, did you take that deep breath? Yes, I did. Sorry. Thank you. I just, couldn't believe that I did that because I trusted him because I would be like, why would the FDA let us use this if it wasn't safe? He I convinced know. me it was. And that's what Kayla just said. And then Kayla yeah. um, is a frequent caller, and we know that she has a child. So, um, you know, she had this done before her child was born. Can you imagine? And now we know well, that the filters, you know, we know Dr. that. Dr. Lee, if I, may, if I may jump in on that um uh, which which is really, really important for women that are of childbearing age, women that plan to get pregnant, or women who are pregnant who have mercury in their teeth. Absolutely, if you are already pregnant, do not go to the dentist and have dental work done. When a dentist, uh, a dental hygienist does a dental cleaning, more mercury off-gases as that procedure is taking place, it's very, very dangerous. And also what we're finding out is that um, when women are are pregnant with their first child who have a lot of mercury in their teeth, the firstborn child usually is overloaded with mercury from the mother's load. In other words, the mother may feel great after giving birth because she's dumping mercury into that unborn child, and there are scientific documents and uh, research papers that have been published on this. So it is very, very important. If, you're, if you want to get pregnant, 
and you have dental mercury, do your fillings properly, uh, safely remove the dental mercury, and then wait at least a year. Oftentimes, it's recommended two years before you get pregnant because that mercury load from your body needs to be detoxed prior to you getting pregnant. It's just, it, it's something that statistically they're finding out it really does make a difference. And I know that you have um, the, the ability. What, what are you seeing, Dr. Lee, in your practice with people and their dental problems? Because yeah. you're one of the few doctors that are looking. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the few practitioners that are, you know, the one thing that really helped me a lot is our CRT machine, which is FDA approved for screening, early screening for breast cancer. But there's 119 acupuncture points so I can go through the whole body. And then I start seeing dental stuff showing up where it showed, you know, the energy there from the meridian wasn't quite normal. And then from there, I start sending people out to the dentist because I am not a dentist. Uh, and it's just been amazing to see. And the, the good thing about this machine, it will show you the correlation of that tooth, exactly that tooth that there's a, something may be happening there energy-wise, and it'll show you the correlation to the organ uh, involved. You know, case in point. That I is a, fantastic. A, it is. I had a lady who had flown in from, from out, of, out of state, and she came in uh, and was having headaches, and, um, but she was lactating. So she had milk from her, lactating from her breast, and she was not pregnant. And... Uh-huh. Uh, and I said, well, if some of those symptoms were sort of classical for anterior pituitary tumors, something you would look for in the brain, some of her symptoms. But her doctor said, no, he never did any tests. He said, no, there's nothing wrong. Uh, it's probably just hormonal. Um, when I did her CRT, unfortunately, one of the teeth going to the anterior pituitary was kind of a question. I said, it's, like, it's less energy going on here. Plus, she had a canal on that tooth going to the anterior pituitary of her brain. I told her, you know, have your doctor call me. I don't mind talking to him um, and see if he would just go ahead and just at least do the MRI of your brain to see what's going on. And he did, and he found out, true enough, there was a brain tumor. But wow. thank, thank God it was taken care of early. Now, we've been giving out a lot of information, but before the show is over, we'll, we'll be talking of ways how to detox from the mercury. So I don't want people to get so overwhelmed and thinking, you know, we're giving out this information not to frighten you because I just had my mercury removed. But there's certain things you can do through this journey to detox the body from it. So keep in mind, you're listening to the Charles and Lee Health Show, what... Um, someone sitting in today uh, not someone but Anzella <laughs> <laughs> is sitting in Thank for our co-host Hi, and then my everyone. guest today and our topic is are you aware of the neurotoxins in your teeth and uh, a lot of people are not but we do have a caller I think um, uh, Kayla is maybe still with us I know Sally but we do have someone else who just called is who is on hold um, from a three t- the last numbers is 42 Caller, you have a question? The last numbers in your phone number is 42? No, I think my last numbers are 26. <laughs> okay, it's caller. me you're speaking to. You. Okay. Yes. Well, this is Donna. I'm calling from Virginia, Hampton Roads, Virginia. Thank you. And for I have two Donna. questions, please. Yeah, I, and you're welcome. I have two questions. Um, I've been wondering for the last five or six years, about what's in my mouth, because about five or six years ago, I had maybe eight, I'm not sure, mercury fillings removed pretty much all at one time, and they put white fillings in. I asked what it was, never got a straight answer, didn't know anything until they were mixing it up to fill the teeth, and it smelled exactly like when I walked past the nail salon and the stuff that they're building those artificial nails with, that's exactly what it smelled like. And so I've been worried about that all these years. I don't know if I need to maybe have that removed. Um, that's my first question. And the second one is, well, should I just do one at a time? Um, no, I knew that's pretty cool. You could do both. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the other one is, I remember. <laughs> okay. And the other one, my son 
had his um, had fillings in his baby molars as a young child. He's an adult now. He doesn't have any fillings now, but I'm just wondering, since he did have mercury fillings as a child, should he maybe consider detoxing at this point? Um, well, that's it. I, I'm sorry. I missed, your, I missed your first name again. I'm sorry. Donna? Donna. Donna. Um, mm-hmm. here, here's what I would recommend, because um, as, I, as I said earlier, all... Even if they're biological or holistic dentists, they are not, not all created equal. And oftentimes, um, through digital x-rays, even if they've taken out the mercury, they may have left mercury underneath fillings, the white fillings, the composite resins. Um, and so people that think, okay, I took the mercury out, especially, you know, over people uh, that I've, I've met along the way, they said, oh, I took my mercury out 20 years ago. Well... They they certainly did not have the precautions that they do today. That would be my first thing. So yes. what I would do is I would I would go online, go to the I A O M T website, and then you know here, here's the thing: we have to take our own health into our own hands, and we yes. have got to become more proactive to protect ourselves because the guys in the white coats, you know, they may have student loans that they have to pay off, so they're not looking at your health as, as you need it to be looked at. So I would have somebody do digital x-rays to verify, in fact, that they removed all of the mercury when they said that they did. And only through a digital x-ray will you be able to see if mercury is still under those composites. The second thing is, um, if, you, if you are not feeling right, maybe that dental material is not the right material for you because it, it's like... Everybody is not a one-size-fits-all, and, and this BioComp lab tests for things that there's only one other lab um, in the country that does these specific dental tests, and this BioComp is, is a superior lab because they do more of the testing, so you can send a blood sample to them, and they will tell you, and you can take that information to a biological dentist, and they can read the, the, the information to see what material is safe for you, and that is what you should have in your mouth, not something that somebody just randomly picked out of a hat. Because, yeah, you know, there, there are dentists that will tell you, oh, well, this is, you know, typically what we use because it's the least reactive for 80% of the people. Well, you know, what happens if you're 81? You know what I mean? Exactly. So it, it, right. it's really a disservice to the, to the patient if you don't do the whole thing because I'm telling you, I have seen people in my career doing this. They have spent enough money that they could buy a house, you know, really. Um, doing their teeth and then having to redo them and then redo them again. And by the time they wind up with somebody that actually really knows about biological dentistry, they're missing half of their teeth. And they have, to, you know, they're at the end of their rope and they're, they're you know, fighting to save their life. So, so it's a big deal. And the, the second thing that you asked it was about your friend who, um, who was, you know, mercury exposed as a young child. Um, I certainly would do, tell him to do the same thing. Do a digital x-ray and make sure that all of the mercury was removed out of the mouth. And, yes, detoxing could be a lifelong uh, journey oh, yes. because mercury is so pervasive in the system. It, it binds to your cells and changes DNA. It kills oh, yes. cells. Uh, mm-hmm. oh. Yeah, but you know, Dr. don't, don't leave feeling bad. Now, we're going to give you some ways to start doing this. You know, I do the vitamin C IV therapies, and there are some other ways, too. And I just want to say, if you just now tuned in, because this is a 90-minute show now, we do start at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um to 1230 here Pacific Standard Time so if you just tuned in you're listening to the Charlton Lee Health Show dot FM uh, which your, uh, my co-host today uh, is Victoria I'm sorry Anzella Victoria is my co-host today she's filling in for Belinda 
And uh, we do have another caller, and our topic is, is so powerful. But like I said, we're not going to leave you just hanging. There are things to do to start detoxing. But most important is to have it removed properly. And before this show ends, we're going to talk about, you know, the proper removal. But if you go to the right dentist, you don't have to worry about that anyway. But most people okay. say, oh, I never heard of that. But we will talk about the proper removal. But we do have another caller. Caller, can you state your name and where you're calling from and your question? Yeah, hi, Dr. Lee. Yes. yes my name's Mike. How are you? Uh, Mike Fessler. And um, I'm I, I wanted to call him because uh, a lot of us use underarm deodorants that actually stop the flow uh, of our bluff nose from under our jaws. And uh, this is an area that uh, nobody really pays attention to, uh, is the fact that all this mercury can just store in our jaws. Uh, without getting released through the underarms. And uh, I want to thank Anita for coming to the show today because this is a, a, a big um, subject that we need to deal with in this country. Most definitely. And, you know, Mike, I just want to say your product, if anyone wants to know more about this wonderful detox product, it's phenomenal. And you can call our clinic here at Nutrimet at 310-419-4300. And it's inexpensive. And it is phenomenal. I start to use it, uh, the detox deodorant, and rubbing along the uh, lip notes underneath your jaw. And I actually went to bed with something white on. And the next morning, you can see still, you know, the, the kind of brownish color of the mercury being pulled. So I'm so glad you called, Mike, because we were just talking about the we'll, we will be giving information on how to help detox. This is one way because it's definitely in your deodorant and your toothpaste. Well, that's the aluminum, but they are finding right. a lot of the uh, this in the breast tissue also. So you don't want any aluminum or mercury. I don't know how they're finding a lot of mercury in breast tissue, but I know aluminum. But this detox product okay. is phenomenal. Um, but I have a question. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't answer? understand. Uh, this is Sally. I didn't. I have two questions. One about this. I did not catch the name of the product. Could you please repeat the name of the product one more time for me? Dr. Lee? The, pro- Dr. Well, the, the product is actually, it's called Detox Max. I'm sorry, Detox Max. It's a detox deodorant. So detox it's a nighttime deodorant. Detox, detox deodorant. deodorant. I really got off to something else. Yeah. Uh, detox <laughs> deodorant. Yeah. And you can call the clinic after the show and we can go over that with you. It's 310 310- Four one nine forty three hundred, and you can. One um, more quick question. Mm-hmm. Well, I have. I. What do I do about my? I have a gold crown in the way back, and I have a porcelain crown towards the front. Now, are these crowns okay, or should I be considering removing them as well? And that's um, what you're doing. Here's what. Uh, here's what. What the, the latest research shows. Having dissimilar metals in your mouth, if you have mercury fillings, the gold actually is not pure gold, so it's also um, different metals mixed in with some gold alloy. And the crowns are not porcelain. There's a nickel base underneath, and nickel is a carcinogen. Uh, The Agency for Toxic Substance and Disease Registry, which is a government-funded organization that works within the health sector about toxic materials has identified um, nickel as a carcinogen. So if you have mercury, which is a neurotoxin, and a carcinogen, which is nickel, and you have this gold alloy, it creates a battery effect in the mouth, which, which basically makes all of these materials um, off-gas the mercury faster. And the, the problem is that these dissimilar metals will not be beneficial to anyone in the body. So uh, for crowns, there's, there's new materials now that they are non-metal crowns. And again, uh, having your body, uh, your blood analyzed prior to any dental restoration or dental revision is imperative to make sure that when you do it this time, you'll be done for the rest of your life and you won't have to do it again. And another thing that I wanted to uh, mention to the listeners is if you have heavy metals in your head and it's very easy to identify, you open your mouth, if you see anything that looks black, 
it's mercury usually. Uh, if you see, if you have porcelain clouds, normally it's nickel underneath. If you start to detox prior to having your dental restorations uh, corrected, it can be very, very dangerous. And I have met people over the years where they have gone for detoxes prior to having their dental work done. It is dangerous because these detox methods that are available today, they work. And what that does when you are detoxing with heavy metal in your head is it is pulling it back into your body faster. So I implore everybody to become educated on this subject. And exactly. don't do things foolishly like I did because I started detoxing as soon as I found out. You know, I had been detoxing all along, really. But I didn't realize that um, these methods work. work. And a colleague of mine... Um, a biological dentist told me many, many years ago, he said, Anita, when people are detoxing with this material in their mouth, it's, and it works, it's making them more toxic. And it just simply makes sense. And a lot of this is simple logic, except we don't know it. We don't know that there's a problem to begin with. Right, exactly. And that's just one reason why I like the yeah, vitamin I- C and the vitamin C itself on the, on the IVs, mm-hmm. because it's not really, it's, it's just subtle. It's something subtle. Yes. It's not pulling it from the mouth. It's just subtle and keeping you healthy. Because I know yes. one of Dr. Huggins' protocols is to have a vitamin C IV dripping while you're having your dental work done. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me pop in real quick and just say for those who are listening, others who have questions, you can call in at 310-928-7733. This is the Dr. Cherilyn, the Cherilyn Lee Health Show, FM, with your co-host, Dr. Cherilyn Lee. You can also email your questions to innerlightradio at yahoo.com. Could, you know, this is all really fascinating. So are you saying that the, the uh, Anita, that the, the detox programs that people go on to where they do the tinctures and, and the, the supplements that you want to wait on doing that until you get the mercury out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because these, these, uh, these detox remedies are designed to pull out mercury, but if you have it in your teeth, it's going to be pulling from, directly from the filling itself, which okay, can no cause a, acute exposure. Yeah. Now, let's talk about yeah. something real here. And one of, the quest- one of the things is that you have people who, don't have dental insurance or they don't know whether what can they do if they know they're having problems right now and they can't quite afford to have anything done besides that they you know they're really kind of living hand to mouth there in the midst of their salad days you know what can they do i would absolutely um not eat fish especially tuna and in this country tuna is the most consumed fish and it's affordable it's so loaded with mercury. Again, it's, it's the same principle as mixed metals in the mouth. If you're eating fish, even though it comes in as a different form of mercury, it's, a, it's more mercury. In other words, you're contaminating yourself more. So I would stay away from fish. And in fact, I personally haven't had fish for more than a decade because it's toxic everywhere in every fish and every sea mammal that comes out of the water globally. It is, it's not a joke. It's really, really serious. Well, you can go into a, a, a store, a grocery store, and you'll see the Prop 65 um, sign on dental seafood or on the, the seafood cases, but um, they're not identifying all of the fish. It's all of the fish. It's not, um, there's no exemptions for mercury in any fish. It's in all of the fish. Yeah, it's some a lot level. of people. Well, your smaller fish, I think, if, you know, it's less mercury, your sardine. It's all, it's yes, it's less yeah, mercury, it's, but who... You know, when you're sick, it's still there. Um, they've developed um, a, a new test, a new way of testing. It's called the APOE, and it will identify. And, again, I, I'm not a scientist, doctor, dentist. And I, I have no affiliation with any of this. What I'm trying to do is educate the world on this issue so that yes. we can stop using it and everybody will have the opportunity to live a healthy life, which is what everybody, it's, it's your birthright. Um, yeah. But yes. what, what this test that they developed can actually show you, um, and it's it's based on your genetic makeup, whether you can 
excrete mercury at um at what level you can excrete mercury. There's a one one, a one two, and at up to a four four. If you are four four, you should never be around any mercury at all. I just had the test done, and I'm a three three, which means I can excrete mercury better than a three four, but. Uh, it's not, it's the majority of the human population that are three threes, but it's still not good. In other words, if, if, you know, you're being exposed to mercury, you're being exposed to mercury and it, right. you know, and no you one is to. exempt. Exactly. You can say that again. We're, we're, you're not. And even though I had mine removed, I still had to do a whole lot of other things, but still, um, exactly. we don't want to, we don't want to add any more mercury and we can not do the fish. Period. Just right. stay away from right. it because it's so polluted. You know, not to cut anyone off, but we do have another another caller from area code six six one. Caller, can you state your name and where you're calling from? Thank you. Oh yes, my name is uh, Ed, and I'm calling from Andrew Valley also. Hello, Ed. And uh, I appreciate the information you ladies have been given because I had mercury done in my mouth in the eighties, and um, a few years ago. I had two filling, and they, they both, the teeth was actually almost like it explode, and the mercury fell out. But I think one went down in my in my system. And uh, shortly after that, I, I lost my um, my ability to digest my food. Someone that, that has something to do with it. And uh, so I'm trying to recover right now. I'm not able to digest my food like I normally would. And uh, I still have some more mercury in my mouth. As a matter of fact, about two, a bridge in there, about two teeth. So I'm, that's, this information is very good for me at this time, knowing what I need to do to detox. That's what I, I'm, I'm hearing right now, how to detox myself. Yeah. In that well, right. But what, what well, you don't another, say, another, see the dentist first. You really need to see yes. a biological dentist first. If you try some more additional detoxing, uh, we know that uh, the show prior to me is my, my dear associate, too, um, India Holloway that does colonics, and it has been shown that colonics are very good for removing mercury. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, one of the conference that I attended showed how it's very good. Now, that's something you can do. It's, it's, that's not so invasive that it's going to release more mercury into the body, so you definitely can do a colonic. Make sure you get medically cleared to, to do that, too. But because um, she, she does, she's well adversed in doing colonics. But what I want to say, too, is that before you do anything, as we've been saying on the show, please see a biological dentist. Because even though the mercury is removed, um, is being removed, there are special ways, you know, in which that dentist still has to prepare you and themselves to remove the mercury in your mouth. So you want to give out that website again, Anita, because some people are just not coming on the show. And I want to make sure everybody know. Um, well, I, I'm going to give out um, another site too because a lot of, it seems like a lot of your callers are, are coming from the, the northern part of um, Los Angeles, and uh, our, our colleague Dr. Blanche Gruby just opened up a clinic called Centers for Healing. dot net, and they're in Thousand Oaks. Okay. And okay. the other what? Just west of us, I know where. Yeah. Okay. It's all one word, centersforhealing.net. Dot net. Okay. Okay. Yes. And um, the other website is www.iaomt.org. And that's the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. So before going to Thank someone, make sure that, you know, you call to see if they are a member there because they have been trained extensively. I know about three or four people that I talk to on a regular basis, and they all have been trained. Yes. It's, yeah. it's no nonsense. Uh, thing, um, it's, I'm it's sorry. Some years ago, there was a big, um, 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 in Los Angeles area, there was a lot of doctors, dentists, were talking about the same thing. They were on television talking about um, stop using mercury. Uh, has anything else came out of that? I don't know if you, if you ladies were familiar with that. Well, uh, I'm sure Anita would was. be. 
<laughs> I, I've, hey, and I've been at this for more than 10 years, and I don't want to say how much more because then people will think I'm really old. <laughs> <laughs> no, they won't. It's true. The fight has been long. It's, it's a long fight. Yeah, but you know, they're still putting in mercury uh, in, in California, I know for a fact. They're still putting mercury yes. in people's teeth. Now, one, I was attending a conference and a father came in and said that um, the school even informed him that his son could not come back to school until he went to the dentist and had a filling. And the filling that he was, the dentist was going to use was mercury. And this was about three years ago. So I don't know if that oh, has man. changed. I pray that it has. But they were not going to even allow, and I didn't know you can do that. You know, it's a lot of things that are happening. I think they're just, yeah, I think that that's illegal. Uh, you know, they they scare the parents. It's doing things that are, are morally and ethically not good, and you know, it's it's um not good for the kid. So um, you know, these mandates on vaccines and all of this stuff, it, it's it's not it's not legal. But they scare. They they use these tactics in order to you know, scare the parents into doing something that, you know, is completely not beneficial to the child. And and to me, that just, it, it makes me crazy. And that's why I wake up every day trying to fight this to end it, because um, every day more and more people are getting mercury in their teeth and in their vaccines. You know, I wonder sometimes how people are even alive. That's how serious this is. Yeah, but you got a lot of sick people, and they come to the clinic, and they have a diagnosis now. It's chronic fatigue syndrome, and they have all these different symptoms, and they get all these different diagnoses. And when they come in with all these so-called dis-ease, and I tell them, open your mouth, and there I see all the mercury. Then I said, here it is. So I pop in a video. I need to get, you know, of Dr. Huggins and some other people and say, look, now you see this. And then we have uh, the book, um, uh, The Root Canal Cover-Up. And then, oh, yes. yes. That's a brilliant and, book. It is. Oh, and we didn't then, even go there yet on the root canals. Oh, I yeah. know, I know. But, we, you know, Ed, thank you so much for your call. Continue to listen to the Cheryl and Lee Health Show dot FM. This show will be on our website, the Cheryl and Lee Health Show dot FM. You go into the YouTube, click, you know, push the... So put your mouse on YouTube and click there. And um, next in the next couple of days, this show will be on that on the website. So we do archived all our shows on the YouTube channel. So you're more than welcome to listen to this anytime. There's no charge. All right, I'm glad to hear that because I I used to listen to Dr. Rye first, and then I wait for that half an hour gap between um, the other ladies. I was really surprised when I, I wanted to say, something wrong with my time? When she said, <laughs> 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 no, I decided to go 90 minutes. We, we have some very provocative shows. And so, um, you know, I've been in two comas. I have a book that's going to be released very soon. And I know God has us all on this planet for a reason. And so it's my prayer that I'm here to help mankind to have a better, the best quality of life as possible. Thank you very much, and it's, I'm looking forward wonderful. to visiting you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to visiting her office because I've heard I heard a few enough things in here for the last um, six months or so. Because right after I stopped digesting, I lost my sight. Oh you know, boy! Oh my, my goodness! Well, and you know, need to go to the dentist. Yeah, the mercury yeah. has filtrated through the back of the eye there. You know, Dr. Huggins had spoke about this years ago, how, and I noticed this. If you look at the fact, people didn't start wearing glasses until not not 100% uh, until they start putting mercury because we do, we do know the mercury will, you know, filter there. We have a, yeah. we had a caller who just dropped off, so maybe she's going to call back. Uh, Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much, Ed. Let's Thank say. you. Yeah. You know, Dr. Lee, it's wonderful, the service that you're providing. It's just, it's fantastic. I, I, I so deeply appreciate it because, um, you know, more and more people are, are learning that there are other ways to address their health, and your forum is, is extraordinary. I, I can't thank you enough, and I am so grateful that I had this opportunity to be on today. I, I really mean it. It's, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm also, I feel the same way. She has been such a blessing, and she mentioned the CRT earlier. This is Anzella, by the way. She mentioned yes. the CRT earlier, 
and I heard of it in passing. I needed a mammogram, uh, and I came in, and when she did that and the problems it showed, and it was things that I already knew were there, and it picked it up, and it picked it up in the teeth. And oh, wow. She me about the meridians, because I, I had never heard any of that. I had never seen it, and I was able to begin addressing some things uh, yes. in, my, in my own health. But this is one area, and so I'm really looking forward to, uh, as we wind down here in our final quarter of an hour of the show, uh, and for those of you who have a question, again, you may call in at 310-928-7733 or email your questions to innerlightradio at yahoo.com. As we wind down, I'm really looking forward to hearing because we've heard you need to take it out, you need to take it out. And, and my question earlier was about what if you don't have the money. But now for the people who do or you want to at least start working a tooth at a time, wh- you know, what's the procedure? Because you mentioned not you, doing you it all in one day. And what's the maximum number that you can do and not endanger yourself? You know, before because some we, people you, may not have eight, but they may have, for instance, four. Right. You know, before we get into that question, if you can hold that for me, um, Miss mm-hmm. Victoria, because we do have another caller who was waiting patiently oh, um, before. And uh, we will get your question answered to um, Anzella. Okay. Um, caller, state your name and where you're calling from, and thank you in advance for calling. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Devon A. Unleashed. I'm calling from Los Angeles, California. And uh, you guys have a great, great show today. Uh, all the shows are fabulous to me. Uh, but my, my question to you, uh, doctors, is uh, I understand about you, got, you must go to the dentist first before you decide to detox. Okay, I got that. Uh, my question to you is for a person that has gone cold turkey on alcohol for six months, there are some things that's going on like uh, uh, deficiencies are coming down, the bones are acting crazy. Is there something that I can take as a detox that could kind of get me back on balance. You know, I feel great, uh, first of all, for eliminating alcohol out of my life. But I, I really need to know, uh, are there things happening to me? Because I, I let go of something that I was using, not a whole lot of, but a little bit of. Yeah, well, you know, in some cases, you know, kind of coming away from dental just for a second, um, you have you lost a lot of good nutrition there. So most important, uh, detoxing, you know, you, you, you've lost a lot of nutrition that's totally out of balance. There's a couple of tests that can be done, uh, some nutritional evaluations that can be done to find out where you are. Uh, I love the saunas. They're so simple. The simplest way to me to kind of quickly kind of detox is come on over here to Nutramed at, you know, 310-419. I mean 310. That's our phone number. 310-419-4300. Give us a call. And then uh, come in and just start get into the sauna. Start detoxing that way first. That's okay. a subtle way, very, very right. subtle. Mm-hmm. And start to do things very gradually because the next step will need to be the dentist. Thank you so very Dr. much. Dr. Lee, uh-huh. can I also bring my daughter in for detoxing? Is she too young? What do I do with, um, can you, do you detox children the same way you do adults? And how old is she? She's eight now. She's eight. I think the youngest is seven, but let me just confirm that, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, because it's, it's a very comfortable. I feel like you're in a sauna, uh, but it's infrared. So it's thank you, Dr. Good. Lee. Thank you I've so much, it. Devin A. on Leeds, for, coming, <laughs> coming, for calling. And thank everybody tune, tune in to the Devin A. on Leeds show uh, at one thirty today. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Have, Have a, a blessed, blessed day. day. You too. And I'll tell you, I've had that detox in the sauna. And I did that a couple of times, and, man, it was incredible you the way I felt. Perfect. I had so much energy after. Mm-hmm. It was it's wonderful. Very good. I think yeah. we have another caller before we, Angela, we still need to answer your question. Um, caller, state your name and where you're calling from. Oh, hello. Hi, this is Dr. Benton calling in. Oh, um, thank you so much, Dr. Benton. You're welcome. Uh, I'm listening to your program, and... I just wanted to lend support. I, I, I had my mercury uh, fillings taken out years ago. And um, it was, of course, a very arduous process for the, the whole dam. You know, I mean, the, the whole dentist and the whole room had to be protected. It's, it's so alarming that they don't tell you how toxic it is when they put it in. And now when you take it out, 
It's his whole production. It's his whole production. <laughs> it is production a full for production, the yes. Oh, my. Oh, my, yes. Yeah. So I, I've had mine taken out for, uh, for uh, a long time ago. So absolutely support uh, the, the entire topic that, that, that your guest speaker is, is speaking about. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank well, you know what's that. funny, um, everyone? When uh, the ADA's position was, uh, and what they, they tell their dentists, to say to patients is, well, you know, um, it's much safer to leave them in than to take them out because it's dangerous to take them out. Now, if you went to a dentist and they said to you, well, if I put this material in your teeth, um, it's very toxic when it comes out of your mouth. Would you, and if, if you want a composite material, which will cost you a little bit more, what would you say? I would say to what do you mean it's, it's very dangerous to remove? What are you put it in, putting it in my mouth for? And, and another thing that they don't tell you is that mercury, because of its volatility, it expands and contracts. Therefore, if you have a large filling placed in your teeth from the onset of your first filling, the, the probability of that mercury expanding and contracting over a period of time to crack the tooth in which case you will then need a crown, and I call it you're on the dental treadmill until you go into the grave. And, and I have seen it so many times. I have seen hundreds and hundreds of pictures showing what this, this barbaric type of dentistry does to, to humans, you know, and we're all part of this, and we've all been exposed to this, and we are the recipients of this, this very bad way of treating the whole body and it's just it's really something so anything that anyone can do to continue to spread the word um, is great, greatly appreciated on my end because I, I my goal is to see this end and not you know somewhere far into the future I'm, I'm looking to try to finish this you know now while we have this this wonderful global mercury treaty that was just um, formalized in January I'm, I'm trying to ride that wave in order to educate um, developing countries and countries in transition to, to get rid of mercury now while we have the chance. Yes, because right now we've got to start here, because I talked to so many people that just, they said the same thing that Dr. Benton just said, and it's, it's why should I have, uh, the doctors would say, you know, it, you just leave it in. It's going to cause you more problems taking it out. And, you know, it's so sad that that's been told to so many people. And they're and expanding, the first you know, time. I had that happen to me. I was actually in a restaurant and uh, before I had my mercury removed and the expanding broke my tooth. And, you know, I thought I had eaten a piece of glass in the food. <laughs> like, wow. You know, it was so embarrassing. I'm like, did I just bite down on a piece of glass? And I figured out later it was my tooth. Oh, it's, it's just, it's awful. It's yeah, awful. it's really awful. It's really awful. And not knowing then, and you know, not knowing that the mercury would cause the tooth to, to I mean, to, the mercury would expand, breaking the tooth. Because so many people come in and they've had mercury for a long time, their teeth are broke. It's broke. And they say, well, how did that happen? You know, I thought they were pretty strong, you know, but not knowing that the mercury yeah. expand that way. So if yeah, that has no, happened to anybody you know or your relative, please share this show by going to the FM and go to YouTube because it will be posted there. Send all your friends and family there. And then also like us on YouTube, on Facebook. You know, I, I also you know, think that people have swallowed this hole about it not being dangerous but forgetting, you know, there used to be, people used to commonly have thermometers, you know, in their home, either to take the temperature mm-hmm. of the children or at work on walls. And yep. one of the things you were always told, never break it. That's mercury in there. It's dangerous. We'll all have to run out the house. And yes, exactly. we regularly going to the dentist and getting this stuff put in. And it was somehow or another, the lesson about the thermometer never translated to them. They never you know, made the connection when they went to the dentist and he said, I'm going to put, you know, this in your face. And, and well, you know, yes. is this Antella? Yes, it is. Well, you know what they do? They deceptively call this. These are silver fillings in, in the world of the American Dental Association. They are not calling it what it is. 
And like when you go to buy a product on the market, let's say you go to buy a box of cereal and the first ingredient is wheat. That is what the first ingredient is because it's the most, um, ingre- the biggest ingredient inside the box. Mm-hmm. In, in dental, mercury, mercury is the largest component of these amalgam fillings. But they aren't calling them mercury. They're calling them silver. And you know what they said when we were testifying at an FDA hearing? They said, oh, it's because of the color. Well, that's just, that's a lot of crap, <laughs> you know? It is. <laughs> and uh, they just are I not telling that. people the truth. Okay. And yes. have, you, have any of you seen this? Um, my, my attorney sent me like a year or two ago um, on YouTube that showed a tooth that had a mercury filling off gassing. If you know yes. what that is, that, we that, just talked about that. We want to give out that yes. website again, Anita. Sure. Yes, um, that YouTube video. And if you if you go to, it's a colleague of ours. His name is Dr. David Kennedy, and um, he that video has been seen by well over a million people. It's called the Smoking Tooth Video, yeah. and Dr. Kennedy actually has a whole web series online. I mean, he. He's Mr. Fluoride. I mean, I just spent the weekend with him and Dr. Blanche Gruby uh, at the Health Freedom Expo, and I'm telling you, the rooms are becoming more packed with people trying, finally, making the association of whole body health and the relationship that it has with people's mouths. And Dr. Lee, I commend you 10,000% because there are not enough doctors and practitioners out there that are telling their patients it's the mouth that is the causation of so many ills of health. Right. And, 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 you and know, God bless you for telling people because I, I, I'm right there with you. You know, we're down to our countdown on, on this show. And oh, my goodness. Powerful. <laughs> I mean, I, I, we, don't, we can't really probably take any more questions. I was told a few minutes ago that we were down to a few minutes. And so we're just about out of town. Out of town. Out of time. <laughs> Thank you so I, much. Out of town, too. <laughs> <laughs> and our next show coming up is the California Women's Network uh, that comes on right after me at 1230. So... Uh, please stay tuned for the California Women's Network that's coming on right after. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Cheryl and Lee Health Show dot FM. And keep in mind, come and have this test. The CRT is for men and women. You can go to my website, uh, NutriMedHealthCare.com, and you can see a little information. Uh, but if you go to our YouTube, you can keep going through the uh, the interviews, and you'll see um, Doris Mosley, who's one of my spokespersons for women, uh, when it came to her breast exam. And what we found in her story is right there. So you can listen to her story on our YouTube page, going to the Charlotte Lee Health Show dot FM, going to the YouTube page, and going to the channel and see uh, there. But keep in mind, we are the only clinic in the world that have the CRT and that's doing it for free. Under our nonprofit, the company gave me the machine, so I'm the only one that's doing this. Some doctors charge anywhere from maybe three to six hundred dollars. We're the only one in the world here at Nutrimed Integrated Healthcare that's doing it for free. Our phone number again is three one zero. 419-4300. There's just a $75 administrative fee, but this test and consultation and the report takes a good hour plus per patient that I personally do myself, and it's for free. What a, a wonderful, wonderful gift to give to people. That That is truly a blessing. I would highly recommend wow. everybody taking the time and the opportunity to get this type of an evaluation because it, it's, it's extraordinary that... that this opportunity has come to everybody that you have listening to your shows. Um, I would highly recommend it because you'll get insight from somebody who is actually working. She, Dr. Lee is a doer. She is doing things to help humanity, and I'm just so proud to be on this show. You have no idea. I, I'm excited. I hope I get to come back. <laughs> well, you're going to be back again soon because we are literally almost out of time. And I want to make sure that I bring you back. And in closing, say to sum everything up, uh, and I, I know you can't do it in, in 30 seconds, but Anita, just as in a nutshell, um, some departing wisdom here. Be your own advocate. Yes. Um, The Internet is now accessible to everyone in this country. If you do not have a computer, go to the library. Ask for help. 
learn about your health because you are the only one that will really be able to make decisions to protect yourself, your family, and your loved ones. Um, take advantage of these opportunities like Dr. Lee is offering because that will give you insight on what's going on in your body. Yeah. And always, always, always um, take care of your teeth and be an informed consumer. And don't go to just any dentist to yank off the mercury. And if you can only do one tooth at a time, that's okay. But have it done by somebody that is looking out for your best health and your best uh, health outcome. Yeah, and make sure that they're qualified to do this. You just don't go in and have a mercury move without a rubber dam in your mouth, without oxygen going in your nose. The dentist should have, you know, look like he's from another planet because he needs to have, be protected himself. So make sure you go and check out those websites. Very important. We're down to the very second now. Again, I want to Can you repeat everyone. the websites? Can you repeat the websites? Uh, we're really out of time. You can no go problem. Listen to the show again. Uh, it will be posted by going to the Cheryl and Lee Health Show FM. Go to YouTube. It will be posted. Hopefully, it'll be posted by Friday, and you'll be able to pick all this up all over again. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today to the Cheryl and Lee Health Show, and especially I want to thank uh, v- Victoria. I, I, I want to say it the other way around right now. Russian and Zella show. Victoria. And yes. Zella Victoria. <laughs> thank you so much for for. Um, being here in place of uh, my wonderful oh, co-host. Thank you so very much. And again, as I leave this show and depart, I want everyone to repeat after me. This is why I get all these wonderful things happening, guys. Repeat <laughs> after me. I am. I, I am. am. I am. So grateful. So, so grateful, grateful. That I am. That, that I, I am. I am magnet for miracles. A A magnet magnet for miracles. God bless everyone and we'll be tuned in next week from 11 to 1230 Pacific Standard Time.